See brown in your face. Have you heard of everything at once? Do you know about everything at once? It's internationally known. Aliens listen to it. It's the best. <laughs> if there's everything. something you're looking for in the 814, or feeling a little bored and think there ain't no more, no check more. out everything at once and allow it to be your source. It's that raw podcast that's always showing support, highlighting the scene. No need to take I-90 to peep or 79 to see how it be. Interviewing your locals with mindsets that are global. Innovators and creators on every single upload. So much going on in the EPA. Everything at once will keep you up to date. Amazing guests. What you doing? Come through and hang with Tony and Dave. Community driven. Bringing everything at once from around the way. Everything at once from around the way. Hey. Please listen. We love you. <laughs> everything at once. Everything at once. It's time to, int- to introduce this show. The best show on the face of the planet. Welcome, everybody. Thank you all for tuning in today. We want to thank our Patreon producers, Brian G, Josh W, E and D, Nick G, and Sadie M. Patreon, it's an awesome way to support the show and say thanks. You can become a Patreon supporter by clicking the link below and choosing to be an intern, assistant, or producer level supporter. If being on the production team is too much pressure for you, you can also send any contributions using our Venmo at everything at once studios we now want to thank all the local businesses who supported this episode these businesses get the everything at once stamp of approval and are critical members of the everything at once community we couldn't do it without them with winter approaching are there any last minute details that you want to change or renovate around your home uh i might uh but you know who to call yeah ghostbusters no no tony no not ghostbusters solid state construction oh yeah (laughs) solid state yeah duh (laughs) solid state takes pride in all their home remodeling projects solid state specializes in bathroom remodeling kitchen renovation window and door installation custom design work and more including painting flooring drywall sidewalk decks decks Get your free quote today by calling Nick at 814-397-7854. Solid people, solid solid product, product, solid solid state state construction. construction. You know, Tony, with all these renovations from solid state, I think we might have kicked up some bad energy around here. Yeah, oh oh, yeah. Luckily, we know just the people to go see. I, I know it this time. It's Ghostbusters. No, Tony. Our friends at Cauldron and Thorn. Wow. I feel really dumb right now, and I can't believe I didn't think of Cauldron and Thorn, uh, the world's largest witchcraft and metaphysical shop, with everything a person needs to channel the spirit world. Practice some self-care. Find enlightenment. Curse your enemies. Protect yourself from your enemies. Bless your friends. Cleanse your space from negative energies. You can check out all the magical wares available at these for these different practices, we all love and enjoy at Cauldron and Thorn, 2724 West 8th Street, or online at cauldronandthorn.com. This week, we have an incredible guest for you. Here we are. Oh, hey. It's Hello. Valentine's Day. Aww. Woo! Happy V-Day. Yeah, we got that nice pink glow. I'm wearing roses. Mm-hmm. These guys dressed as a handsome man and put on the same shit. Well, you know. It's, uh... Pretty standard, you know what I mean? Here. A-listers, we're here. Mm-hmm. Matt's an A-lister. He's going to be in our new short film, Paranormal. I'm so excited for that. He's going to be one of our co-stars, our leading man, so to speak. Woo! It's going to be incredible. Get out of town. And he, it's his third appearance on the show. It is! Which is more than anybody else other than me and Dave. I'm in history. Really excited about that. Yeah. You're only about... 70 some episodes behind us you can catch up <laughs> i sure can yeah you, you can catch I'll up take the reins once you guys retire out yeah well once you guys we're gonna need the it ceos yeah. of everything at once studios you gotta you're gonna have you're to our new a new dp podcast. our director Post. of production yeah for sure I, I'm, I'm, I'm it's accepting done, the job Do we need to sign the paperwork yeah. there we go <laughs> look at that i just Ooh, got a job business guys. deals yeah, live in you. person right here we're making things happen making it go but it is Valentine's Day, Uh-oh. and anytime there's a holiday around here, you know how we like to celebrate. Am I the asshole? 
No, well, I, we're about to find we're out. About to find out. <laughs> we're about we're going to find out who is the asshole. We're going to unload some fierce judgment, and it's probably going to be the kids. That seems to be like our standard <laughs> Wait, most of the time. I don't believe from my own life that the past predicts the future, right. but I do believe that there will be no love lost on this episode. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. I think I think we'll get through it. We'll make I, it. We'll yeah. make it happen. And we'll all be sure. assholes, and uh, that's just the that's way it goes, I guess. Mm-hmm. You know? We're happy we are going to do it someday. Who, so, wants to, who wants to start? You want to start? Or I'm ready to start. You I'm ready it. to start. I'll, okay. I'll go second. So, this first one. These all came from the Am I the Asshole subreddit. Subreddit. Which is only the finest of human beings. Of course. You yeah. know what I mean? That's where they hang out. You that's find the, the cream of the crop that's in the, subreddits. Uh, exactly. All the best <laughs> people hang out. That's like their preferred social media. Right. It's yeah. my preferred social media. Reddit is just where the most stable, happiest people go. I think so. I that's think where attracts. they live. You know it what attracts. I mean? All right. Well, let's see who, the, who is the asshole in this first situation. Hmm. The title is, Am I the Asshole for Buying a PS5 from a Scalper for Valentine's Day? (laughs) (laughs) Since late January, my husband has been absolutely obsessed with getting the next-gen gaming systems, the new PlayStation 5 and Xbox. He didn't see his pre-order invitation in November, and it's now consumed his life, to the point where he hears phone notifications indicating console stock might be available. He drops whatever he's doing unless it's something sensitive, like working a meeting with his boss to check. Honestly, I think he's become a little obsessed. Well, I figured, since I hated seeing him so stressed and Valentine's Day was coming up, I ended up saving some extra money this month and bought a PS5 PS5 from an online reseller. I'm of the philosophy that money buys convenience. I presented it to him this morning and he was over the moon when he saw it and asked me how I got it. So I told him the truth. As soon as he heard, I paid a 60% markup, his face dropped. Over the next few hours, his mood worsened until I asked him about it and he told me that people like me are enabling these, in his words, leeches and parasites to harm his gaming hobby community and that he was extremely disappointed in me and that he wouldn't be playing that PS5. He ended up moving the box through the closet and won't even look at it. (laughs) And he'd been pretending he'd drowned in work. We both worked from home. I tried asking my mom and sisters, but they just told me that he should be grateful. (coughs) I was so thoughtful and spent hundreds on him. He still isn't talking to me, save for really short answers to my questions. Am I the asshole? Huh. So this, I feel like, happened a couple years ago because I, the, the job I did at the time, I got to see this live and in person. Um, it happened with sports cards. It happened with gaming systems. Mm. This guy sounds like one of the guys that would go to the drops, miss them, and didn't get the chance to resell anything himself. Right. And that's why he's so mad at these scammers. Right. I call them goddamn entrepreneurs. <laughs> entrepreneurs. <laughs> well, I, I, I wonder, does the system even work? Is it like a off-the-shelf system that is well, functional? It doesn't sound like it ever made it out of the box. Yeah, so you so don't know. Like, who it knows? might be an empty box. These yeah. people might really be scammed. Just like stuffed a bunch of stuff in it to feel the weight, and it's like that's a, that feels like a PS5. Right? Do you that, think he's Do you think he's a dad? I feel like dads are the ones that get maybe. like the most upset about a bad spend, like an over for sure. Dad, like, it's like it's they're looking money for the anyway. deal. <laughs> they're looking for the deal. Right. I feel like this also transcends beyond just the video game market, though. It has too. to be. Yeah, there's got to be an underlying thing going on. Well, where I, he's I, like, this is the straw that broke the camel's back in the right. relationship. He's <laughs> been, like, working and wants to play this game, and all of these people, these bots, are just fucking buying all the PS5s and reselling them for a right. huge markup. Which, I kind of agree with the lady there. Like, money does buy convenience. Right. But at the same time, like, these same type of entrepreneurs as Dave calls them, mm. are buying all of my concert tickets that I want <laughs> right. and then reselling them for triple the cost on right. StubHub. And I hate it. I, I don't like it. I don't approve of this <laughs> means. Personally, if I had a bunch of money, though, I would be buying, like, 
all the PS5s, you know what I mean? And right. I'd be selling them for 60% markup. The entrepreneur, the himself. entrepreneurial spirit yes. in me demands that I do this. Right. That, that's my point is like, if you don't got the hookup or you don't have the funds to really corner a market, you get upset about yeah. it. Like, a little butt hurt, you know? Well, I, I remember applying to an, for an American Express card once back in like 2017, 18. Because they did all the pre-sales for concerts through American Express right. back then. I'm like, I'm just going to buy concert tickets to all the best concerts right. and just resell them. Why not? If someone's going to buy it, right. then a market. I, I, I might as well on. make the money. Yeah. yeah. Right. I, I totally get that. But on the receiving end of the people that are like buying those tickets, which is actually normally where I kind of stand right. on this because I don't have thousands of dollars to buy – a million tickets beforehand and resell them. Right. Uh, it fucking sucks. <laughs> Why big, do you, a big old bag of dicks. <laughs> Why do you get mad though? Not you, this guy. Why do you get mad though about your wife? Some someone spending their own money. Right. If you, it's your own money and it was done in the the hope to, of convenience and to like please him, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I'm gonna surprise him. He's wanted it for so long. He's been watching it. This will ease his anxiety about it right? right i'm on her side you're on her side well honest. i i think that she is enabling it and he's justified in his anger because right. if people would stop buying these secondhand things and unionize and be like you know we're not going to stand for this shit anymore we're not going to buy these secondhand th like t concert tickets or ps5s or xboxes right. or whatever and we're going to only pay retail price then there wouldn't be a market and they wouldn't be able to buy them all and sell that's them. That's a and systemic more people... thing. This this relationship has nothing to do with that. I it mean, does. I, it I has think... everything to do with well, that. As a, cons as a consumer in that market, I completely understand. But I think she was just trying to do a nice thing. He's the asshole. Maybe he shouldn't be so obsessed with materialistic things. Because it's like she said, he spent all of his waking moments... Searching. constantly checking looking right. ps5 ps5 and you know what it was his own motherfucking fault you remember how this story started he was in the pre-sale he dropped the ball boom right? it's his yeah. fault she's she like up. i mean <laughs> think about it you got like your girlfriend's watching you like you know oh, i really want this i can't get my hands on it you're doing it for like months and she was like i'm gonna make this man's day i'm gonna get him what he wants right oh you got it for me but you didn't do it the way that I wanted to do it. So you're <laughs> fucking an awful person. Right. You know what they say, though? The road to hell is paved with good intentions. <laughs> and I'm going to stick with it and say that this lady is part of the systemic problem with online resellers and is enabling them to continue to capture all these profits. Because if this wasn't profitable, if they were buying all these PS5s and nobody would pay any extra money for them, right. then like this, this would guy's, be a problem. In the it first wouldn't place. be a problem. It would stop. The market would dry up. But that is, I understand that's asking a lot and asking everybody to kind of get on board. And some people just <laughs> have the money and it doesn't fucking matter. You know, right. money buys convenience. And Mid Maybe maybe he shouldn't just be obsessed with the newest thing that's on the market. Because she said he wanted the new PS5 and the new Xbox. Like, why do you why need, need both? both? Why do you need both? You know? <laughs> I, I, I don't really play video games a whole lot either. anymore. Same. But I still very much consider myself a gamer. Right. And I understand needing both of the systems personally. Okay. Like, I used to play a lot of video games. I've had periods in my life where I've played tons and tons of video games. But also, like, a majority of my, like, really hardcore gaming are done on my PC, which is right over there. Right. Which is better than an Xbox, better than a PS5, and also probably... I don't know how much a PS5 is anymore, but that computer was pretty f definitely a lot more, probably like three times more right. than an Xbox or a PS5. So, like off the shelf. My conclusion is like she should have just gave him the money and been like, "Here, build a PC. You can do that." I'm right. Okay. I think the real assholes are uh, the resellers. No. The children. No. Everybody's trying <laughs> no. to buy these the for kids. the kids. All <laughs> these moms and dads are freaking out trying to get make sure little Johnny gets <laughs> his new Xbox or PS5 so all of his friends don't make fun of him at his private school and 
sucking up all the all the all the fucking gaming systems. I don't think when it, this hardworking guy <laughs> is just trying to relax a little bit after a hard day's work play and play a game. Video games. And all these little kids are, kids. you know, begging mom and dad and crying. Find me a new Xbox. Find me a new Xbox. Switch. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No. What are you? I, are you mm. failures, Pam? Five Nights at Freddy's. Make, you don't make enough money for to keep up with all my friends, and now they make fun of me. And then the dad, everybody <laughs> loses in that situation. Mom and dad feel like a piece of shit. They got to work extra hours. They're not spending any time with their kids, and they're trying to buy them this Xbox so they can parent their children for them because, like, that's. That's the whole thing, you know. I mean, of course, you got to buy right. little Johnny his new PS Five. Throw that, him in front of a screen. That's gonna let me drink wine <laughs> and eat Xanax when I get home from work, so I can relax. So everybody, mm. I don't think Tony has. Tony doesn't have any kids, right? No, no. <laughs> absolutely no. not. But because does... I'm not falling into this trap like everybody <laughs> else who's trying to keep up with the other kids and has to drink themselves into a stupor every night to because. To, to like try and unwind from all of the 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 report cards and the letters home from the teachers because little Johnny can't pay attention in class and it's just a hard life, dude. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I know if I like had it. a child, he's gonna be a fuck up. Like <laughs> that's all there really is to it. He's gonna have my blood in him. He's gonna be fucking fucking around the whole time. He's not gonna time. be able to pay attention, and he's just gonna be a general nuisance to society until he's like 25. Or 30, and his brain actually develops like my brain actually developed and becomes a functioning human being. You know what I mean? Yeah, don't and have I'm kids. Just, I'm just not ready <laughs> for that kids. right now. I think we're all good without your kids. Yeah, yeah I think dude, we're all that's good what without I'm, our I'm kids. doing. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm benefiting society, yeah. all the teachers out there. You're welcome, everybody America. Everybody that would have to deal with my offspring, you're, you're fucking welcome, okay? I'm yeah. doing this for you. I think that uh, the real asshole in this situation is uh sony entertainment and microsoft and, and microsoft, microsoft they're the ones that are making these kick-ass revolutionary <laughs> unbelievable outstanding we love you so much <laughs> systems that these people are just clamoring to buy like buy your kid a nintendo ds nobody gives a fuck you know like i don't know people might like not they might like Nintendo, but not the like they it. like Sony. Sony is killing it. That's right. So, like, these are the guys. And they can't just make enough fucking systems. That way you can stock the stores and everybody who wants one can get one. You because know what? They're, like, artificially inflating the market. You know what I mean? Increasing that demand up so high by not producing enough of their systems that the fucking capitalism and Ronald <laughs> Reagan and all the fucked up shit out there is just ruining everybody's life i think that uh i bet they got cameras just little cameras on these playstations or the, it connects when you know it goes on the tv you got these smart tvs they can look out at you mm -hmm. and they can see when families are starting to spend a little more time together <laughs> instead uh, of mom and dad oh, eating their pills and getting drunk and the kids just sucked into a TV and they're like, guys, it's time to drop the PS5. <laughs> Family values are rising. Our stock prices are dropping. It's time for the PS5. And the thing is, is like once you start with like the PS5 or the Xbox, the other com the other demands follow. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need the new Fallout. Oh, I need new Fortnite. Right. I need Fortnite dollars. I need and this Robux new controller. And or... Controllers and lights. And my friend has a bigger TV than me. And, and all now this there's shit. VR headsets. That shit's crazy, dude. These kids are living in a hell of a time. Kids these days. Yeah. It's an amazing time, and I. If I had all this shit, I would I would have ended up even worse. Yeah, you know. I mean, think, sure. about, think about these parents are walking by the rooms, listening to their eight year olds on a headset, telling probably a grown man that they're gonna go fuck his mom, you know, <laughs> yeah. as they're playing right. Call of Duty. And then you got to make the decision whether you just want to move on with your life or actually <laughs> or discipline like your or child. Do like about it. <laughs> nine times out of ten, I'm just gonna I'm just I just keep walking. You know, you just keep walking. That's the teacher's job or whoever, you know, 
That's that's not my issue. Right. That's something yeah. little Johnny's gonna have to I'm learn about in the future. To parent my child when he says that to somebody, some other kid that's like actually there in person and much larger than him. Because little John, my little Johnny's gonna be small dude. He's right. not gonna be very big, and he's gonna have <laughs> giant mouth, and it's gonna get him into trouble. And like maybe that's that's, that's a what lesson he's mean. gonna have to learn. Yeah, I mean sometimes. The kids I think it's, need it's a little his bit little of Johnny that's the asshole. It's that's probably what. his little Johnny. By the time little Johnny uh, comes around and is old enough to be part of this fiasco, <laughs> it'll be about PS7 right, generation. Yeah. So Possibly. like, But they're going to skip it and call it PS10. PS10. That's, that's the way like it works usually. Six of them. Yeah. Start yeah. using Roman numerals. I was talking <laughs> about this with my friend the other day, though. But by, by the time that comes around, I'm just going to sell everything and move to a camper i'm gonna pick like a plot of woods and gain squatters rights and just have the kids live outside yeah you know have them learn to fend from themselves and keep them away from society and then throw them back into society see what happens yeah when they hit 18 TV like, shows i want to like move to the city i want to go to college but i'll be like good fucking luck dude <laughs> throw them there actually i think there's a tv show on netflix called hannah that is, is exactly that <laughs> this this girl is kept in a trailer in the woods f until she's like 14 or 15 years old okay. and then her dad gets like like kidnapped or something like that and then she has to go into society and she's like what is happening there are screens i never seen a screen before in my life she's raised like a wolf how does she do how does she handle it she kicks a bunch of ass she kicks a bunch of ass. <laughs> yeah. See, that's that's what I wanted to hear. That's like <laughs> yeah. confirming this idea that I have. I don't think it would work like that. I don't but, think so. I don't TV, think it would work I think like TV. That. As a child who was raised by TV, I know it to be true <laughs> and to never have lied to me. So I'm. Uh, this sounds go good to it. me. And uh, but back to this. I I think we got a little off track here. I a little bit. So. Yeah, that's all right though. The PS Five. This wife. This husband, who's the asshole? I still, I'm still standing by. I think the wife is in the right, and and the husband is the, the asshole husband's in this the situation. Asshole. I am going with society at large. I'm gonna go with capitalism is the asshole. I'm gonna go with these resellers are the asshole, and people with way too much money that are paying for these resold PS5s right. and Xboxes are the asshole for inflating this market unnecessarily and not allowing normal people to be able to afford ps5s or get them right i'm going with the uh i'm gonna i'm gonna take a little twist at the end of this story i'm gonna say the asshole is the clerk at the store <laughs> who is doing back deal backdoor deals with someone who's not this lady's husband so he can't get his own fucking PS5. Yeah. <laughs> He's he sees them come on the truck and he calls up fucking Big Rick and Big Rick comes in and swoops them all up right off the truck and right. drops like 10 grand He's in on it and sells them all for $1000 or however fucking much. It's a good. I blame the mafia. That's the a mafia, mafia for move. Sure. Yeah, That's a mafia move. Crime, for it's sure. organized crime. I blame organized crime. They are the assholes. This is the last episode I'll ever be doing of everything at once. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it was uh, nice knowing you. Take a hiatus. <laughs> the organized crime have. Uh, they're probably listening. Oh, they're probably the CIA listening. listens. For sure. The aliens listens. Of course, organized crimes listen. That's very bold, and I respect your. Um, mental and personal fortitude to attack organized crime like that yeah they are the assholes and we'll miss you <laughs> yeah, i'll miss you guys too so i'm going organized crime boom we got the assholes yep let's move on to the next one hell yeah am i the asshole for spending valentine's day at the gym instead of with my girlfriend Uh oh i feel like we read this one last year we totally read this one last oh year. this was last year mm. wow dave <laughs> i wasn't i was, the guy I was right not here it's the guy who 
He's super devoted to his workout. And he can't shit. change his schedule. Yeah, anything. yeah, he can't miss his schedule. I wasn't here. I listened Dave. to the episode, but I was not here for last year's episode. Okay. It was you two, Celinda and Steve. So Well, oh, Dave, yeah. you're still the asshole. Yeah, I'm the yeah, asshole. Yeah, Dave is the asshole. Dave's the okay. asshole on this one. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> How do you feel about <laughs> fake holidays? Did you do that one last year? I don't year? think so. Am I the asshole for not celebrating Valentine's Day, National Girlfriend Day, or any other fake holiday? Holiday. Okay, I, don't think I like so. okay, I like where we go. go with this. I've always seen Valentine's Day, National Insert, literally anything day, and even Mother's Day as an excuse for people to spend money on the same day. National Girlfriend Day is a perfect example. Maybe it's the hipster in me that never wants to go with the crowd, but I think when you appreciate someone, when your heart tells you to instead of because it's tradition, it means so much more. So I always tell anyone I date, I don't do Valentine's or any made-up holiday like that. I do celebrate anniversaries and birthdays, and I try my best to be spontaneous with my displays of love and affection. Surprise dates, chocolates, flowers, whenever I feel, especially a romantic and can afford it, I do what I can. I feel like sometimes my partners expect something on Valentine's Day and feel disappointed. Am I the asshole? Hmm. Okay. That is a great topic. So I respect this guy's – see, last time I said capitalism was the asshole. Right. And this guy is completely anti-capitalism. He's not following for the uh, birth, the greeting card marketing scheme. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? And staying away from Valentine's Day. But I also think that Valentine's Day has a, like a history – like right. Saint Valent, I I couldn't there tell is... you anything more than that other than it's Saint Valentine's Day. I don't know what the no fuck Saint Valentine's did. He he might be a fucking asshole. He might be, and I don't know, but there is some sort of historical reference to Valentine's Day. Right. So maybe it's not made up in its history, but it's <laughs> definitely been like perverted by society to be this thing where you buy flowers and buy chocolates and shit like that but i also feel like he's kind of a piece of shit because like just get your girlfriend some fucking chocolates right well, well it's like saint patrick's day like it's definitely a feast it's definitely a religious tradition mm -hmm. but going back to the original foundings you know starting of this uh feast tradition day the outline of it wasn't like let's everyone pretend to be irish and just get as fucking drunk as right. we possibly can so i believe valentine's day has certainly been bastardized over the years just like christmas i'm with this dude for you sure. say no. I mean, I respect it too, but like, if my girlfriend wants like a Valentine's Day gift, like I just buy it. It's right. not that fucking real to me. I and maybe that... I'm part of the problem because I'm just like, yeah, whatever. I'll just get you. Yeah. Whatever, Wait a minute. You know. Wait a minute. You you got the issue with the guy who's scamming other people on a lower level and making them spend money, but you don't got an issue with the whole <laughs> system getting you to buy chocolate for your girlfriend. See, it's not the system that's getting me to buy chocolate for my girlfriend. It's my girlfriend that's getting me to buy chocolate <laughs> yeah, right. for my girlfriend. So she's the she's one that's the getting one. scammed. Her. Yeah. So, <laughs> so if you're listening, if you're watching, if you're somewhere in this house right now, know that, and she, she's like, pretty hardcore communist you know what i mean she's very against capitalism and all that shit so uh i'm not gonna get you just <laughs> or like just know that if you're expecting a valentine's day gift you're uh supporting capitalism and <laughs> but inadvertently forcing me to support capitalism because I like uh, I like things to be easy and peaceful, and if that's what makes my life easy and peaceful, versus having an argument about whether or not I buy you something on Valentine's Day, I'm just getting the fucking Valentine's Day thing. You know what right. I mean? I just don't like if you buy someone, like if you buy your girlfriend or wife like jewelry or candy or something, you know, like some flowers on like February 4th, just because you feel like doing it. Hey, right. I appreciate you. But then 10 days later, you don't do it. It's like, right. Then you're, you're the, the monster, house. you right. know? Plus I don't have to necessarily, I, I don't, 
I can buy my gift from like a local place and feel okay right. about that. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Well, I think that he said the hipster in him, like that was one of his like excuses or reasons or whatever, right? Anarchy. And I think that <clears throat> I think that that guy is leaning way too hard into that specific characteristic of hipster or like, oh look at me, I'm, I'm so punk different. rock. I'm so you know what I mean? Like yeah. I'm like hoity toity and my nose is up here and yours is down here. And like that that kind of crock of shit I don't like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like fucking either like tell them that you're gonna get them something or don't and you know you can tell that they're unhappy. I don't know. It all depends on the person you're with too. Right? Yeah, because the I've... person you're with might be completely fine with yeah, that. Like, like, yeah, I don't fuck, fuck. Right. But, but, but this guy, he says, well, it's just a Reddit post, but with these posts, we believe right. everything to be true yeah. that's written. It's uh, fact. It's yeah, fact. It's, it's fact. He's not lying. Lie. But he says right in it that he tells his girlfriends. Yes. It's not a surprise, but like you start dating someone. I don't do these holidays. Okay, whatever. I like you. Then the holiday comes around and you don't do right. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you, what the fuck? Yeah. Well, well like, she fixed him by that point. You yeah, know what I mean? she, well, she changed. Two, him. When I say lean into it, I mean he goes on Reddit and posts about it, or has fake Facebook posts leading up to Valentine's Day, like, "Oh, you're all fucking consumers," and I can't believe everything is going. You know, he's one of those people who really he's a lean into warrior. it. You know what I mean? And it's like. I don't spend any time on the, you know what I mean? Like, if if I ever date a girl <clears throat> or whatever that in the future doesn't want to celebrate Valentine's Day, I'm going to be like, okay, cool. I don't have to fucking buy anything. <laughs> I, <don't laughs> to, like, I think there's a big difference between not spending money on someone for holidays like Valentine's Day just to prove a point as compared to being forced to do it when you might not have the resources right. to, sure. you know, yeah. and he's leaning into like, you know, I could do it, but fuck you territory. Yeah, but sure. that's all the difference that it really is with the person you're with, you know, if like you don't have the resources for whatever reason and it's still a big deal, then you got to drop it and move on. It's way right. too commercialized in that way. But, but this guy, this guy is a, uh, is a, a revolutionary. He's yeah. a, he's a <laughs> he's hero. Rock. He's yeah. a hero of sorts. I think he's, uh, he's just a whiny little bitch, dude. I think he's like. I feel the same way. Cheap, and I think he's the asshole. And he's a scumbag. And like, yeah, you don't want to support capitalism or buy into consumerism or whatever. Well, shop local, dude. Go to like a local forest. Give them your money right. so you can feel good about it instead of like buying a Hallmark greeting card or going to Walmart and right. picking up like fucking chocolate. Why go to a local florist or chocolate maker and buy stuff from them on these holidays? when you can go to their establishments and spit on their windows. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that like really, really fucking pump yeah, rock. Tell them that. <laughs> really say fuck you to all those men. All all the men, even in their smaller forms at like local establishments. Are right. are there are there any holidays that you feel like could get the axe though? Oh, yeah. I've never even heard of National Girlfriend's Day. Well, that's I kind of see his yeah, point there. I like, hope my girlfriend doesn't want to celebrate that. Yeah, I don't even know Abby, what day please. it is. So, uh, we can leave it at Valentine's Day. I love you. Well, I guess that's <laughs> kind of the point, though. It's like there's the ones that have been so ingrained in society, like cap, you know, been capitalized on that. Mm -hmm. They're the big ones, and they just happen. But if you open up your phone and ask what day it is, right. There is always multiple right. things that it's a day of. National I've gone into day, yeah. National... I've gone into work and I've been like, it's important though, Matt. Three point one four, dude. Right. I <laughs> yeah, mean, I've I gone so. I've gone into work and they're like, it's National Cannoli Day. You know, right. like come on, what National the fuck? Hug like, a Drummer Day. I remember hug that. Hug a Drummer Day. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So like you that's can that's bullshit. Can, that's bullshit. <laughs> See, but what makes it? Pie fuck drummers. Pi Day is important though. Pi Day. I'm sticking to that. That's Pie like a important. math day. That's not like consumerism. That's like fucking numbers and nerd how, shit and math. How, how would you feel <laughs> if there was just like a big push and so many people got behind it and they did this great marketing scheme for Pi Day? Not, but it could be Pi Day. <laughs> it could be okay. Yeah, it could be Pi Day. It's exactly. What do they do? How do they celebrate? Well, well no. 
but it, it could be like St. Valentine's Day. It's like this religious feast, and it's turned into something where you buy shit for your wife and girlfriend. Pi Day, it's like, oh, it's all about math. It makes sense. We'll start it with like this. 50 years from now, it's mm-hmm. like you have to buy your wife a new car on Pi Day. It's <laughs> right. Pi Day, you know? Yeah. That's what we've always done. <laughs> like, yeah. Things get quickly corrupted like that. For Anything sure. can happen in 50, 50 years. 50 years is not a long time. But it is a long time. It's right? a long so time it's long for enough to change to that change. Type of... Yeah, everybody's playing the telephone game. It starts out about a number, ends up about buying new fucking cars. I mean, I, I genius. I get behind <laughs> this one because I'm with it. I'm for it. He's but for like, Pi Day. Did you hear that, Tony? Yeah, I'm for Pi Day. Rings or like endorsement. <laughs> or like the switch from like Columbus Day to indi- well, they still call it, but like the switch to Indigenous Peoples Day. Right. Like people care about it. When it was just Columbus Day, it's like, oh, they, this is some random day you get yeah. off of school. Nobody gives fuck, a fuck. Yeah. Like, right. but it's been rebranded in a good way. Right. I'm just I'm leery. Like we got what we got, but don't let yourself be lulled into sleep to be to satisfy other people mm-hmm. or before you know it you'll have every month of the year where you have to be buying shit for people right just a sheep you become a sheep yep. i have to buy shit for people every fucking day anyway though dave <laughs> like even if it's just myself i'm always like that's just part of is just buying shit you right. know what i mean yeah and just wait till little johnny gets here Oh my god. Oh boy. He'll be buying don't even you, more he's shit. Put that be a evil leech. on me. He's gonna be a leech. David Skrupski. Don't put don't you put that evil on me. We don't need no little little Johnny's running around. Again, here. little Johnny is the asshole in this situation. Little Johnny's gonna end up with a birthday on Valentine's Day. <laughs> yeah. Then you're gonna have to spend to twice as much money. <laughs> it's gonna be horrible. I think that this guy this guy's he's just an asshole. Uh, get with it. Buy your girlfriend something nice. For she sure. probably fucking deserves it for dealing with all your bullshit. My hipster ass. All your hipster fucking bu- uh, market table, whatever right. fucking bullshit Holier you do. Than thou. Your weird clothes and your smelly deodorant and your lack of showers <laughs> and your fucking beanies and all your other shit. Your five million flannels that take up all the closets. You smell like a hippie store. Yeah, you take smell a like shower. patchouli oil. <laughs> Fuck you. You're an asshole. Get your girlfriend something nice. She fucking deserves it. She deals with your shit. Get her some chocolates. Get her some roses. You know, God. Like, th- this poor lady. She's just trying to have a nice fucking Valentine's Day. She's this a- has been, like, part of her upbringing since she was a child and shows up at school with her little homemade fucking Valentine's or, like, the million She's boxes. She's excited every year. She loves it. Before she met you, she was so sad. I'm alone on Valentine's Day. I hope that next Valentine's Day I have someone to be with. And right. Psych, she motherfucker! Yeah. <laughs> and, and you're not alone. One person on Earth. It's, you're not it, alone. You're supposed. To, it's like a happy holiday, you know what I mean? You're, like, expressing love. It's about love. Like, you're lucky enough... To be in love and to have somebody special in your life, just get them the fucking chocolates and right? take them out to dinner. I think the 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 guy's the asshole, but I also think that we need to make some. They they need to start making just some sad holidays, like, <laughs> like ones that are. Meant... I'm alone and miserable. Dude. Exactly, <laughs> right. exactly. Where National you can really Single celebrate Ladies it. Day. Where you can really just lean into it. We need some counterbalance in this world, right. and uh, you could say it's every other day that's not the holidays, you know. <laughs> but uh, nah, he's the asshole for sure. I am in agreement. This guy, he's a fucking asshole. Goddamn, hippies. his hipster ways <laughs> are just. He's just an asshole and nobody likes him. So fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. On to the next one. You um, heard it. If you're out there, guy, listening to this, if you saw us on on, on Reddit posting about doing this episode <laughs> and you're listening, you're a fucking asshole. I don't know. Oh, man. I deleted what Reddit actually voted as to whether oh, or not no. they're assholes. Oh, this guy, sorry, was, this guy was the asshole. For sure. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah, he got voted yeah, the asshole. Sure. Oh, good. Good, good, good. All right. We ready for another one? Yeah. Yeah. Let's okay. Go. Here we go. Am I the asshole for ditching my friend on Valentine's Day for a guy? Hmm. My friend, 23 female, and I, 20 male, decided to hang out on Valentine's Day after her boyfriend decided to not come with us on a trip. He, we had just arrived in California a few days ago as we had been planning for this for a while, our graduation trip. On the plane, <coughs> I sat next to this attractive guy. 
We ended up talking and exchanging phone numbers. Throughout our trip in California, me and the guy started talking, and I think I have feelings for him. Anyways, my friend and I planned to hang out on Valentine's Day to celebrate it. But the guy I met on the plane asked if I wanted to watch a movie and stay with him. I said yes and told my friend. She just stormed off and the guy had a real and whoa. She just stormed off and me and the guy had a really good time. <laughs> I do think maybe I did something wrong because she's refusing to talk to me and just doing the trip without me. So I'm asking Reddit, as you people aren't biased. <laughs> You for heard, sure. You're first. You heard it. It's fact. Am it's I the asshole written. for ditching my friend for a guy? No. She he ditched her or it yeah. was a guy, right? Yeah. He ditched okay. her for a guy. That he met on the plane on there. their trip to California. Yep. Okay. Because and when there. they were in California, he ditched her. So yes. Is that what there, happened? It seems like the trip. order of events is they're on the plane. And this dude meets another dude. They're chatting it up, having a good time on the right. fucking plane. They exchange numbers. And then they're enjoying their trip and blah, blah, blah. He's texting this dude. And then the dude's like, hey, Valentine's Day, do you want to come hang out? And he's like, yes. And then he has to tell his friend, like, yo, I'm bailing on you for Valentine's Day. I'm going to go hang out with this dude. And uh, it seems like gets the, real pissed. the girl had, had a little crush on the dude. No, that could but, be it. Maybe. No. Well, this dude. Well, is, she has this a dude's, boyfriend this that didn't come this on the trip. Gay. This Obviously, gay. but I'm saying that the girl could have still been like butt hurt because it's like, oh, I wanted to spend down Valentine's Day with my well, best friend. Uh, who's... Yeah. Uh, I think of it more like they plan this trip. Right. Yeah. Her like, and her boyfriend and her her gay best friend, whatever. Right. Then the boyfriend bails and she's like, well, I'm still with my homie. And then he's like, actually, psych, fuck you too. I'm going to go get some get some so dick she's been from abandoned this dude. On two so she's I'm been abandoned twice <laughs> on the same trick. <laughs> right. I'm going to go get some dick, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Which hey, everybody deserves Yeah, some whatever, dick you know. Yeah. It's Valentine's Day. You're on a trip to a magical faraway land. She's not land. doing anything for him. Yeah, she's not yeah. doing anything for him. They're both probably just going to like be miserable because they don't have like she doesn't have her boyfriend right. with her, so she can't celebrate valentine's day with her boyfriend he doesn't have a significant other so they're both like kind of alone on valentine's right. day let's just which is kind of watch even movies shittier popcorn. though right because like you're like well at least i'm hanging out with my best friend you know what i mean right on valentine's day i still got my best friend this could be okay we could watch sad <laughs> movies and cry and do whatever we fucking do eat and, chunky monkey ice cream yeah but not anymore because he fucking found love and now <laughs> He's he's off gallivanting with some strange man that he met in California on a plane during a trip that he's never gonna see again, ever. And who knows? It could be the spark of something long lasting for this guy. It, it, it could yeah, be. Yeah, but let's be real. Let's be real. It's not. It's <laughs> not. It's, it's he's gonna it's just going call. out there. It's a one way stand. Yeah. He's gonna go down. You know, they're going to do what adults do, and then they're never going to talk again. He's going to go right. back home. He's going to go about his fucking life in California, and that's it. But mm. his best friend, that's forever, dude. Right. Well, it was. <laughs> He's going to have to go back home and keep dealing with her. She's going to be pissed because we all know that girls hold grudges, and I would hold a grudge if, right. like, my best friend, like, bailed on me and to go fucking gallivanting with some fucking dude and... I'm left alone on Valentine's Day to cry all by myself. Nobody's there to pat my back or anything like that. Right. And feed me chunky monkey ice cream or get me treats. And this fucking dude is just going to forget about him. You know right. what I mean? This, this poor boyfriend dude, like, it's his girlfriend on the trip. And whatever his situation, he had something come up where he couldn't go. And I'm sure this girl was very upset and everything being just tolerable and okay hinged on like, hey, you're at least you're going with your best friend. Right. So like yeah. when the best friend ditches her, then all this falls back on the boyfriend. I'm right. sure he's at home just like he's getting text after text after text. This after text, motherfucker, dude. dude. <laughs> like you couldn't just fucking hang out for a little bit. And now this girl. What about her, dude? Her boyfriend can't come. Her best friend ditches her. She fucking hates herself and feels <laughs> like she's useless and nobody fucking loves her. And she's in California in a strange land that she doesn't know anything about or doesn't have any friends there. See, or at that point, I would make I would make the best out of that opportunity and go gallivanting myself. 
Yeah, and cheat on her boyfriend. Not so, cheat, not necessarily. What, what? You're in California. <laughs> Fucking live it up. Go to the beach. Oh, okay, yeah, okay that kind of gallivanting. Day. Yeah, we're yeah, thinking just, other gallivanting. I'm, I'm like, just she saying, goes okay, club. you're alone. Make the she best of the situation. Man. Be happy with yourself, Tony. Yeah, well, maybe I'm this just is, a cynic at heart. You know <laughs> this is how and this is. That's how I handle shit. This is how people end up on uh, Skid Row. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they just like, get lost. How yeah. did you end up in this? <laughs> tent in the middle of los angeles well, well let me tell you a me. story my boyfriend ditched me i went out ended up doing some heroin now i'm a junkie <laughs> it's three months later it's three months later i'm living in a tent nobody's talked to me my cell phone's dead nobody knows if i'm alive or not because i missed my plane ticket and now my life is ruined all because my douchebag best friend <laughs> wanted to go see some fucking man while we were on our best friend trip to california and now my life's ruined, and it's all his fault. It's all my boyfriend's fault. It's everybody else's fucking fault that abandoned me and made me feel like shit. That right. just brought this exactly. out. Exactly. That's I it's everybody else's. I think that's fault. what the way things go. You know, that's how. Now I don't know how big of a plane they're on. They were on if it was two seats to a row or three, right. and that makes a big difference. If it was two seats to a row, this is what I have to tell you. You should have paid the extra money to make sure you're sitting you with your best sit. friend. Right, yeah. Because obviously you weren't. That's how he got the the chance to talk to this hot piece of ass right. for however many hours going to California. Right. Mm -hmm. so, well, trans go he also could have just been like, yeah, uh, I'm going to go hang out with this dude. Or this dude wants to hang out and just be like, yo, my bestie's coming. If he was a good dude, right. he'd be like, yo, my bestie's rolling with me. <laughs> right. We'll go out and get dinner and we'll hang out and shit. And me and you can go do our thing later. But my bestie's rolling with me for all the shit that she can roll with me. You know what I mean? Right. That's like, I think that's what a real friend does. You know what I mean? Yeah, for if sure. I, if that's like really my homie and we're in California and we ain't, we're both fucking lonely and our significant others don't exist or far away. It's like, yo, we're fucking rolling, dude. Right. We're Even go to your, your the, you know, the girl, the best friend here and be like, hey, listen, I need me some dick. There's some dick over here. Can can I go do that? Even to like be like, are you gonna be mad about that? Rather than just no, you like, just oh, say, by the way, I'm going to get some. Dick. Well, see, you don't <laughs> want to put the person in that position though, because like no, you just invite her. You, you just, just like look, him. asshole. Yeah. We met on the plane. I'm never gonna fucking talk to you again tonight. Right. But you're attractive. Bestie's I'm attractive. Over. Let's do this. Bestie's fucking coming with me to dinner right. though, and we're getting going to the club and getting wasted. We'll drop her off and go do our thing. Right. And that that's been the, the way. Good, that's right that's like yeah. That's how you handle that. Or situation. she could even, you know, depending on how it is, California, he might have seven roommates as right. it is, you know. Yeah, dude, fuck. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. But she's got a boyfriend at home. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So, like, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but she can't I, do that. I'm with you on this one, though. I mean, especially if it's something that you've been planning out, like a big graduation trip right. and you're super excited. Like, you can't leave the homie hanging. No, dude. Right. You can't leave him hanging. No. The only way you let that happen is if they encourage you. Right. If they're, they're like, yeah, like you boy. need oh, to sure. you need to go do this. But it doesn't sound like that was the case in this no, situation. Right. She stormed well, off. You probably have a and lot better of a chance of that happening too if you're like, yo, homie, I'm gonna go hang out with this dude, come to dinner with us, come to the club with us after, come to the beach, whatever the fuck right. we're gonna go Everybody's do. Everybody's happy. And then if she's like, no, like, go have fun, like, blah, 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 it's Valentine's right. Day, do your thing, I know you like this guy, blah, blah, blah. Like, you have a much better chance of, right. like, getting actually what you want if you're just, like, good to your friends, you know what I mean? Yeah. For sure. Yeah, this this dude is definitely He's the, the asshole. He's the fucking asshole. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Fuck this guy. Fuck, Fuck this, this guy. guy. He just ruined that poor girl's life. For that some really, dick. For that, some dick. I hope it was worth it, scumbag. <laughs> you, I hope you, you guys fell in love and all that <laughs> shit, which... You stayed in California. Yeah, but you didn't do any of that, did you? <laughs> nope. No, you, you, you saw him that night, and you never spoke to him again. Went back home about your fucking life, and... <laughs> now you're down a best friend. Now you're down a best friend. You know who was going to come with you back home and still be your friend? Your fucking best friend, dude. So, yeah, you're an asshole. Fuck you, <laughs> asshole. guys. Asshole. Yeah, that's my unbiased opinion. You fucking said I was unbiased. unbiased. That's my unbiased opinion. You're an asshole. I don't want you to be my friend. 
I'm not taking any trips with you. You're a scumbag. <laughs> stay in right. California. Yeah, stay in California with your new best friend, Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck yeah. <laughs> You want to move on to the last yeah, Dave, one? Yeah, Dave, hit me with the it. next one. Come on. I'm on fire today. All right. Woo! Let me know. I drank five shots of espresso before we started this. <laughs> if anybody I've seen it. I've seen it with my eyes. Matt eyeballs. only took two. I've been slamming him since he got here. He thinks I only had one, <laughs> but I was I drank three before that. <laughs> I've now had... I'm all fired up. I hope you guys like it. I've had zero. You can probably tell. This guy. Uh... All right, let's see if I'm the asshole again. Did this happen last year? Am I the asshole for gifting Dollar Tree chocolate? That's not. I don't it's think so. On not. Valentine's That's a good Day. one. My partner and I have been together almost four years now. I'm a 26-year-old female. He is 26 male. We live together. Four years. I'm currently working full-time and caring okay. for my father, who is dying of stomach cancer. So as you can imagine, Valentine's Day was a bit of an afterthought for me. I make daily hour round trips to the hospital after work and handle all cooking, cleaning in our house. I'm kind of tired, but still wanted to make sure my boyfriend had a good Valentine's Day. Because of my dad being sick, I do feel like it's been hard to make time for romance. So on my lunch, I purchased him flowers, chocolate, chocolate covered strawberries, his favorite ice cream, and a card. I went to Dollar oh, Tree first because I needed a vase for flowers and I know they have nice glass ones. I saw his favorite kind of chocolate turtles there, but they were off brand. I picked them up in case mm -hmm. the next store I went to didn't have the name brand ones. The next store I went to did not have the turtles, so I was glad I got the, the ones at Dollar Tree. I was also running out of time on my lunch break and couldn't stop at another store. I had dinner ready for him when he got home. I made him homemade stromboli and had all the gifts out when he got there. After dinner, we ran to the hospital to give my dad flowers and a card. When we got home, my boyfriend expressed disappointment in the chocolate I purchased. <laughs> he said it made him feel like he was only worth Dollar Tree chocolate. Oh, he God. feels that maybe because I grew up poor, this was acceptable to me. Wow. But he should feel <laughs> worth more than that. I told him I had purchased them just in case the other store didn't have them, and it wasn't my intention to get him Dollar Tree chocolate. <laughs> he is really upset with me about this. I feel horrible and see why he would feel like I didn't put enough thought or effort into the gifts. Looking back, I shouldn't have waited until Valentine's Day to get his presents. Oh, I probably would have been able to get the name brand chocolate if I didn't wait. I, am I the asshole? Oh, added he got me flowers a card dark chocolate and my favorite sweet treat oh my god so what an asshole this guy <laughs> i hope you're listening fucking dick you she goes appreciate. above and beyond her dad's dying of stage four cancer and, you, and she's you, a you, caregiver she takes time out of her fucking day to do all of this stuff for you as dinner ready and you're like oh I know that you. Oh my God. Yeah, you I know that you might be used poor. to this dollar store bullshit, but not in my house. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> We're not poor anymore. Right. God damn. Jesus. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? I Her swear. dad, who's tried to provide and now is dying of stomach cancer who tries to provide her whole life and they, they he does his fucking best and they're poor and now you're like throwing it in her face like you you might have been brought up poor how like, is this woman still with this chick and, and this at the dude, end of it she's it, the one why? that's apologetic she's feeling bad yeah. about herself he's got her he's got her absolutely trained yeah like mm -hmm. or whatever no dude you call he, it. he's like, groomed seriously. her how old are they 26 and they've been there four, four years. years. Four years. Oh, yep, yeah, for dude. sure. He's groomed her forever, mm -hmm. and she's now complete. She lost her complete will to live. And this guy is just like making fun of her, making fun of her fucking dying dad, and saying that he didn't do a good job because they grew up poor. Right. And now, and the thing is, is he like didn't even get her fucking anything. Right. And like, he got so her, yeah, you got her treat, fucking flowers. favorite sweet treat. What the fuck? Fuck yeah. this dude. It's not like you went above and beyond out of your way. Yeah, it's not like day. he bought you like 
oh. fucking fancy jewelry and like you're all also sorts not of taking care shit. of your dying father. Yeah, preoccupied like, a little bit. He has stomach cancer, and on top of that, he just fucking humiliates him and degrades their father and their the job he did providing for their family. Dude, he's a piece of shit. Piece Grade A piece of, of shit. But you know shit. what? I bet he makes a lot of money and makes her life probably pretty comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah, the, that's got, the, yeah. that's the twist there, because like. Yeah, you were poor once, but now we're not poor. You could be spending my money. You on can the good spe- stuff. you can buy nice chocolates now and shit. <laughs> so, like, she's she's like willing to accept this degradation and the humiliation of her father <laughs> for a comfortable, <laughs> lavish life without financial woes. You see it all the time. You see it all the time. You know what? Money doesn't make people happy, but it makes life a whole fuckload easier. Money buys convenience. Money like buys convenience. Yeah. You know? so could you, you'd be like, oh, honey, you know, how is the hospital? How's your dad? Good, good. You know, like, oh, man, he's going through so much. This strong bully is delicious. Thank you for the flowers. I really appreciate them. Oh, Magnolia is my favorite. Oh, and you got me the... You got what, me the- what 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 is this? Do you see the name on this fucking <laughs> brand of chocolate turtles? You fucking Do you, bitch. This might be your world, but it's not mine. <laughs> Do you know what it's like to not act poor? You don't <laughs> oh even care. God. You think I'm Dollar Tree? You might as well put this sticker on me because I'm <laughs> Dollar Tree brand too. <laughs> Dude, that that. That's pro- that's probably a very accurate rendition of how this went down, Dave. Thank you. Yeah, and appreciate that. Yeah, that was good. You should be in the movie. Uh, no, not this time. But maybe a future one. We'll maybe see. Maybe a future all one. Right. I, I plan on making all of us cameo at some point, like, as oh, yeah. extras, just, like, be in the background, kind of like a Stanley type deal. But Hell yeah. that's another discussion for another Ooh, time. Of course. Right now. We're talking about how big of a piece of shit this guy is. God and damn. how his hard-working, pe- his hard-working <laughs> wife, who's fucking doing her best is just degraded and humiliated terrible and she's completely accepting of it she's questioning that's the that's whether the part or that not gets me she's, she's like i do feel bad about this right at the end yeah. and it's like man i see it all the time she's just fucking brainwashed gaslit manipulated and convenienced with money that uh, she she hates herself. She has a low value of herself, and she she holds her husband in such high regard that she's questioning her own values and feeling guilty about buying dollar store chocolate. And the thing is, like, she bought that as like a backup plan in case the other place didn't have the chocolate right. that she liked. So she was actually and thinking about him the, throughout the whole process. And the other place didn't have the chocolate. And that's all she had time for that day. So like, it's like, fuck, I've got to go make my my husband the meal that he – his favorite meal. And right. I need time to do that. So she was thinking about time management at that point. Time management. Making sure he had something. Like if they didn't have the chocolate, like – What's she gonna do? Like run to another fucking store? Or just you know have what? nothing? If she wouldn't have you know even if she brought... gotten the chocolate turtles. It, he wouldn't have even noticed. Uh, I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if he wouldn't have noticed. This guy seems like he might He's have been it. like, "Yeah, you got flowers and made my dinner, yeah. but you didn't get the fucking chocolate. <laughs> Go out God right now. Yeah. Take this twenty dollar bill. You're you couldn't like... just grub hub. That's, what, that's why we have all this money. So you can just door dash whatever we fucking want. We don't even go to the grocery, grocery store. store. Get you delivered. just stay here. Yeah. You get, like, a, get it brought to me. You're like, <laughs> honey, honey, come here. I've rearranged everything you've gotten me. But do you notice that, that empty rectangle in the middle? <laughs> what do you think is supposed to be there? God. <laughs> Dude, she, and she feels bad. She feels She's horrible. Doing her best. Well, you know what? She's never gonna make, make that mistake again. That's right. I bet you. You know. No, she. Yes, yeah, she will. It, I feel like it's <laughs> not sad, right. but it's she not will. said on there. But I feel like it's heavily implied that he beat the shit out of her afterwards. <laughs> oh man. You know, like really taught her a lesson. <laughs> you know, and now she feels bad. That's it. Goes right into the whole tra- the whole trauma of like having to ask Reddit about whether or not she deserves right. this abuse. You don't. You don't. You don't, sure. Lady. You're Leave. You're a good woman. You did your best. You thought about your husband and tried to get him what he wanted. And you had, like, a backup plan, like, all this right. shit. And you did great. Honey, yeah. you did great. And Happy this, Valentine's Happy Day. Happy Valentine's yeah. to you. From us to you, we love you. 
we we love you. We think you're valuable. If uh, this is if you're in danger, I don't know. Blink call, twice. No, call that can't see you. number. We can't see you. Order a pizza or mm-hmm. an, an angel pizza or some shit, right. and get the help that you need because this guy's a scumbag. I hope you guys don't have kids because they're probably fucking awful. <laughs> and will be for yeah. at least thirty years. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, best advice is just leave that situation. You're not the asshole. This guy's the asshole. Right. And neither is your dad. He did a great job. Yeah, Don't for sure. Make sure that, like, he he doesn't read this on Reddit because, like, it's really an older person's social media. You know, you find a lot of the elderly right. on Reddit. Right. right. So, As you do. Um, they don't right. like all the all the TikToks, you know. They right. just want to read. The ticks or the talks. Right. They just so, want to read and look at pictures like the old newspapers. Right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, he's the asshole. He's the asshole. For and sure. And you did great. You did a good job. You're, you're, you did good. Hell yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think we're all in consensus for this, sure. This Twice in a, a row. Shit. Yeah. Wow. We wow. I feel like we did a good job then. We did a good job. When it's a yeah. unanimous decision, that means that like I think we, we all we came together. It. We all agreed. We we talked it out mm-hmm. as we always do. We went through all the scenarios and explored all options. We wildly speculated and made up shit that doesn't exist. Right. And. We came to the solution, you know? <laughs> yeah. We oh. figured it out. Oh, but also, I forgot that you don't have yours, but uh, I got it on mine. Reddit determined that she was, in fact, the asshole. <laughs> wow. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh I'm kidding. God. She was not the asshole. <laughs> what a twist. <laughs> no, you had me there, Dave. I was like, what the fuck, Reddit? And then I was like, oh, wait, no. it's Reddit. You don't, no, you don't no, mess sense. with a man's chocolate <laughs> turd. Sure don't. Fucking bitch. It's unacceptable. This episode, well, unacceptable. You guys are unacceptable. <laughs> Off-brand chocolates, unacceptable. Celinda, if you come home with the wrong fucking chocolates. <laughs> What's your favorite kind of chocolate? Real quick at the end. Mm. I, I don't really like chocolate that much. Really? I like, like, disgustingly sweet shit that rots my teeth, like Skittles. Uh, I like and nerds and, like, the like, right? Like, yeah. trolley brake crawlers. I could eat a whole giant bag of those in right. one sitting. But to answer your question, Reese's. Favorite chocolate. Reese's. So I don't really Not eat chocolate craze. either, but uh, I like chocolate-covered grapes. I like Ooh. I like chocolate strawberries. I'm thinking you know of what? like Support a fine local. chocolate. Romolo's. Go to Romolo's. Buy yeah, go, go to Romolo's. Buy, go to Polacco's. Go to Stefanelli's. Get all the cool chocolates. Right. Support local. Enjoy your Valentine's Day, folks. For we sure. hope this made it a little bit better. Hey, you know what, guys? There. I love you. I, both I you. love you guys, too. I love You're both you fucking there, assholes. Yeah. We love all the Tiny people heart. out there, our sponsors. Everybody, I, don't, I never know how to make the heart, so fuck that. Tiny heart. Yeah, there we go. We love you guys. Have Peace. a great night. Peace.